What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for jumping in to this video today. My name is Danny Coldblood, aka my music videos, and I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys a quick video here of something that player number two has discovered recently here on the PlayStation 4. I want to kind of get this out there and get it to your attention as it is something that I feel is very uh, relevant, especially with what I've brought up recently and what I'm going to be coming out with in the near future. So definitely check this out. It's very interesting and give it up for player number two. As you can see, Player 2, he's wearing an army outfit, and that's actually uh, quite fitting, if you will, because what he found is actually tied to one of the biggest clues in the game. Like I said, we follow this to this day, and that is the UFO that's above Ford Zancudo. We all know that that says segregate and rearrange. Well, what he found is actually pretty insane, as it says the same thing. Let me go ahead and show you guys the file of this image right here. Take a look at this. Man, I gotta say, do a huge kudos to you. That is an absolutely amazing find. Looking at that image, it's just so surreal seeing another image in the game that says segregate and rearrange on it. We do know that the UFO above Fort Zancudo says that as well. And this is actually found right near that same location. It's in the same vicinity. So we're over here at the Life Invader building. This is where it all started. Can you explain why the hell we're almost on the other side of the map? Why it starts over here, what you were doing, you know, the step-by-step, -step, you know, the play-by-play -play of what you did, why you did it, and and kind of how you stumbled across this discovery, if you don't mind. This is one of the places I know of that you actually glitch underneath the map. I just wanted to get up underneath the map so I could just explore and so I could check out the, uh, the bunkers there after the new update. The Life of Vader building might be one of the only locations that are still available for us to uh, use, you know, when trying to glitch under the map. Uh, this little spot right here, actually, you uh, try to glitch into it, and, you know, single player, it definitely does work, and you can get under the map. Now, everything that player number two has done, he has on a video on his YouTube channel, so I will go ahead and put that on the, uh, the description. So if you guys want to check out his video, you get to see play-by-play -play everything that he went and did. Now, we did try it ourselves here online before we started doing the video, and I don't want to say that you can't do it online, but we didn't have any luck. I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, a clip of us trying to do that. So yeah, absolutely no luck at all when trying to glitch uh, into the Life Invader building, which kind of pushes you directly under the map. And you were just trying to check out the bunkers, basically, is what you were doing under the map? Yeah, I'm just trying to just uh, see if there's anything different about them. Right, because we don't have, that's a good point, we don't have anything new in single player in these locations where we now have the bunkers. Because it's not just like a little, uh, you know, circle highlighted spot for us to walk into that teleports us like a mission. There's actual updates to the map now with the bunkers. We actually have uh, physical bunkers raised out of the ground in the uh, areas where the bunkers are located. So that's pretty smart to go and want to check out and see if there's anything new in single player hidden, you know, where they put these bunkers and the online. I like that kind of train of thought. So player number two, we are in a very, very relevant location, especially when looking into the mystery. We are at the place where the beam, the abduction beam shows up at three o'clock in the morning, which is a, a very suspicious time and relevant time as, you know, Mount Chiliad with the UFO, abduction beam over here, um, you know, above us we have the uh, UFO that says segregate and rearrange on it. And now you found a box that says segregate and rearrange on it as well. And, you know, some of that image also looks very suspicious to me. I know that you even said it kind of reminds you of like a circuit board. It does It does to me also. Um, how do you know that this is the location that you found it? Like when you're under the map, can you see everything? Like the buildings, do they all show up and stuff? Or what's the deal here? Oh yeah, I mean, you can plainly see everything underneath of them. 
And where was it? it? Was it inside of the elevator? Was it like below the building? Was it in the building? Where was this thing located? It's about here where the helicopter's sitting. Right underneath the ground there, the building. Okay. So you found it basically where the building meets the ground. Right below it is where you found that that weird square. Yes. Now, is it is it like a square when you're looking at it from under the map, or is it like a box, or is it flat? Like, what does it look like? Oh, it's just a, just a flat, spinning, rotating square. Just flying up to it, seeing the square. I thought nothing about it until I took the helicopter up and I seen the the markings on it, and I was like, "Well, that's that's different." This is some pretty crazy shit, dude. This is pretty crazy. Now. Do you think that there's anything else that we can find? Was there anything else that you noticed while going under the map that kind of caught your eye that you want to go back and, re, you know, and uh, reinvestigate? Uh, well, there was uh, a smaller square, but there's four other smaller squares that are kind of spaced out there from corner to corner. So there's more, there's more investigation that's needed to be done over here, is what you're saying. There's more stuff that kind of caught your attention and you want to look into it. Oh, yeah. This is pretty crazy, man. Thank you so much for, uh, for uh, being willing to jump on the video and, and, and show everybody what you found and, and how you found it. And uh, he even made a step-by-step, -step, guys. Like I said, he made a video showing you guys exactly how to glitch into the, um, into the map, you know, how you get underground and how you... Uh, keep it that way okay once again player two thanks for jumping on the channel thanks for uh going out there and doing your own research your own hunt as it's almost rare nowadays to see people actually going out and doing things on their own so thanks for being old school thanks for helping out thanks for being a team player even if you are number two, you're still number one in my book for this discovery. So thanks so much for doing that. And uh, guys, like I said, go ahead, show him some love. His uh, channel link is in the description. His Twitter is also in the description. And uh, hopefully you guys uh, can let me know in the comments what you guys think of it. And if you guys find anything yourselves, definitely let us know.